Hello, we would like to take this opportunity to welcome our applicants uh, for the 2020 interview season for the Victor Retinal Fellowship here at Yale University. Uh, we apologize, we can't see you in person. We very much would like to meet you all in person. However, given the current pandemic, that's just not possible. My name is James Kempton. I'm the Associate Fellowship Director um, and one of the faculty members here at Yale. This video is gonna go through our clinic here as well as it will include some of our surgical sites as well. Um, we know that you don't have the opportunity to come see us, but we wanted to get you some images of to what our facility looks like. Again, thank you. We're gonna move over to the retina section. Uh, this is the main entrance to the eye clinic. This is what you'll see upon entering the eye clinic. Uh, from here, we'll go over to the retina section. We'll look at a couple of the standard rooms. In addition to that, we'll show you the imaging systems as well as our uh, laser and procedure room um, and go from there. Thank you so much. We're here in one of our routine exam rooms. Um, as you can see, it's an exam room, it's pretty standard. Um, we have teaching scopes on many of our slit lamps as well as the roll away chairs uh, for our patients with, uh, in wheelchairs. Um, in addition to that, we do use the EPIC system. Uh, every one of our exam rooms has two screens, uh, one so we can show imaging to the patients, uh, the other so we can continue to work on EPIC and not have to toggle back and forth. Why don't we move over to we call it the fishbowl, um, or the, uh, the room where the fellows like to sit and do some of their charting as well here in the clinic. This is a small area within the retina section itself, it has three sets of computers, a place for the residents to sit down, as well as the fellows and the attendings to do teaching, um, as well as to do some charting uh, while they're waiting on patients to dilate um, and or before going in to see a patient. Here we have one of our two uh, large imaging suites um, here we see our uh, floor scene angiography as well as our optos machine. Um, in separate rooms we have our Heidelberg OCT and OCTA as well as our Zycerus OCT and OCTA. Um, uh, I won't show these in the interest of time, uh, but those are the, uh, some of the imaging modalities that we do have. And here is our minor procedure room. This is where we're able to perform our pneumatic retinopexies with cryotherapy. As you can see, we have our own functioning uh, operating room microscope, as well as our cryo machine, uh, which is right there, um, as well as several uh, B-scan uh, ultrasound machines. And this is where we perform, again, most of our minor procedures, as well as our pneumatic retinopexies. And here is our argon laser room, where we use the Pascal laser and have the ability to use the indirect laser as well as uh, using multiple lenses. We have installed in our argon laser room this large screen monitor so that we can project fluorescein angiography or any other images we need behind the patient as we're performing the laser. Here is our ERG. We use the diagnosis system. We're one of the only institutions in the state of Connecticut that has our own functioning ERG which we get a lot of referrals. And here is our YAG laser room. Within our office system, we have a office that is dedicated to our fellows. That's our two retina fellows and one glaucoma fellow. And here is uh, the fellows office. So this is our residence uh, library where most of our lectures uh, pre-COVID uh, occurred. Now most of those are on Zoom. Uh, but this is our departmental library, again, as well as our residence room, which is across the hallway from the fellow's office. This is Yale New Haven Hospital. This is our main hospital and main hub. Our retina cases are split between here and Shoreline, which you'll see next. Uh, this is a large uh, hospital and it houses the Yale University School of Medicine uh, programs. Let's go inside and take a look at the operating room. So we're in OR9 of Yale New Haven Hospital, um, East Pavilion. Um, as you can see, we have a ceiling-mounted Leica scope. And at the <clears throat> Yale New Haven Hospital, we use the biome, uh, whereas the other facilities, we use the Zeiss Resight system. Uh, we still use the constellation here, and directly um, in front of us here, you see the Centurions, uh, which is the um, FACO systems used here. Again, all, um, all 25 uh, and 23 gauge uh, vitrectomy sets as well um, 
and a very good staff um, as well. This is the Shoreline Medical Center, roughly 13 to 14 miles north of our Yale Eye Center in New Haven. This is where we do the majority, um, or at least roughly 50% of our uh, surgical cases. Let's go inside and take a look. Here we're at the Shoreline Surgical Center, uh, which is roughly 13 to 14 miles north of New Haven um, in a town called Guilford. Uh, this is one of our operating suites where we do our retino, vitro retinal cases uh, during the fellowship here. As you can see, we have a ceiling mounted Zeiss Lumera scope, uh, which we use the Resight system uh, for our viewing um, apparatus. Uh, we also have the Constellation Alcon machinery here for a vitrector, as well as the Centurion for any cataracts that need to be done as well. Uh, these scopes have two heads on them uh, for the assistant as well as uh, for the, um, uh, the surgeon. And here is our third operating site at the West Haven VA. The West Haven campuses and VA Connecticut serve roughly 47,000 visits, uh, eye visits per year, uh, which is able to generate not only a lot of cataracts, but also uh, retina cases for the fellows. Uh, we'll go inside and take a look at the clinic uh, where the first year fellow participates, as well as in the operating room. So we're in the eye clinic um, at the West Haven VA. We have seven exam lanes that are completely uh, filled. Uh, we have a Heidelberg FA and OCT six mode machine, as well as the Zeiss Claris Fundus Photography and two new Cirrus OCTs. One is an OCTA and the other is an OCT as well as a new anterior segment camera. We also just purchased a brand new Pascal laser. This is one of our seven um, exam lanes here. And again, just a quick shot up the hallway here. This is this hallway constitutes the ophthalmology side of the eye clinic, and there's a whole additional other hallway with optometry for which we get multiple uh, multiple uh, consults. Now let's go over to the operating room and take a look at their facilities. We're here in OR3 of the VA uh, West Haven Medical Center. Uh, this is our eye room. Uh, we use the Lumera uh, Zeiss microscope. Uh, our cataract system is the Bausch & Lomb, and for our vitrectomies, we use the Constellation. Uh, we use a full 27, I'm sorry, 25 and 23 gauge um, vitrectomy system. Uh, we're looking into getting the 27 gauge, but currently just the 25 and 23 gauge system. Uh, we're setting up for our next case this morning, uh, but <clears throat> again, uh, routine um, uh, operating room suite here, uh, fully stocked. So we're back here at the entrance where I wanted to wrap up. Again, I wanted to give a very brief overview of some of the facilities that we have. Uh, we have a total of 28 exam rooms here at the eye clinic, uh, nine imaging areas. Uh, we operate from a retina standpoint out of three separate uh, surgical areas. Um, and we also have one minor procedure room here in the eye clinic as well. <clears throat> Again, we're gonna answer many questions uh, throughout the day today. Um, the presentation will go over a lot of the details as to who you work with um, and questions like that. Obviously, the fellows will be able to answer many of the questions as well. But again, our apologies that we couldn't have you come visit with us. We very much wanted to meet all of you. Uh, however, we'll be meeting you uh, via Zoom. Um, and again, we really hope you enjoy your day here uh, virtually with us here at the ALI Center. And best of luck in your future. Thank you.